This video explains how to change the drawing order of the points in a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and for this example we first need to create an example data frame as you can see in lines 2 to 5 of the code. So after running these lines of code a new data set is appearing at the top right which is called data. And we can print the first six row of this data frame using the head function as you can see in line six of the code. So after running this line of code you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame contains three columns x, y and a group indicator. And the very first point in our data frame corresponds to the group A and all the other points correspond to the group B. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code. And after running this line of code we can draw a scatter plot using the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 11 and 12. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new scatter plot is appearing, which is showing our data points. However, you can also see that none of the data points in the group A, so in other words, the very first line of our data set is appearing. And the reason for that is that this point is overlaid by the other points in the group B. So let's assume that we want to change the drawing order of our points in order to show our point A on top of all of these data points. Then we can reorder our data set as you can see in line 14 of the code. So in this line of code I'm using the C function to create a subset of our data set and then I'm using the nrow function to subset only the second to the last row of our data frame. And then at the bottom of our data set, I'm adding the very first row of our input data set, which corresponds to the group A. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see that another data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data reorder. And we can print the tail of this data set to the bottom in the RStudio console using the tail function. And then you can see that now the very first data point of the input data set is appearing at the last row position of our new data set. And if we now use the same syntax as before based on the new data set, you can see that our plot is changed because now our red point is shown at the top of all the other points. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.